Hello, hello, it's Viola. I'm back to make a folio today. So this one's gonna have a multitude of pockets. So why don't we get started? And what we're gonna need is a scoreboard, punch, scissors, and glue. So four things to make a folio. So let's get started. Sorry, five things, because you're going to need paper. I kind of thought that might have been a given, but um, if I didn't say it, then how would you know? Okay, so I am using double-sided paper, and so I'm just going to go ahead, and the first score I'm going to make is at one and a half. Find my one and a half here. Whoops, kind of fell off the score there. Okay, then I'm going to find my six inch and I'm going to score. Whoa, I'm going to score this at six inches. Okay, so that's one and a half and six inches. I'm going to turn the paper. And I'm going to score it again at six inches. Okay, so I have a score here that was six inches. I have a score here that was one and a half inches. And a score here that was six inches. I'm going to turn it again. I'm turning it counterclockwise. And I'm going to do a second score at one and a half. There we go. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do, get rid of my board, and I'm just gonna start by training my, my paper a little bit. So I'm gonna fold on my six inch, I'm gonna open that up, and I'm gonna fold again on my six inch my paper can kind of be getting used to being folded. All right, so here's where I'm just gonna fold and I'm not doing, uh, you know, I'm not pushing down too hard on these folds because they are gonna go in different directions. But I'm just kind of training the paper right now to let it know it's gonna be folded. Okay. So that's what we've got. My next step is I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna cut on my six inch line, it's my one and a half fold, and I'm gonna cut into the paper on the fold line until I hit that line right there. I don't know if you can see it in my camera, but I'm only cutting till I hit that fold line. I'm gonna turn the paper over and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna cut right, I'm not using my small scissors, um, but I'm gonna cut right up to the fold there. Okay, so that, I should have two, yep, which I do. Okay, so now I'm gonna fold my paper. I'm gonna fold it up. So here is where you can choose whether or not you're gonna have a full six inch folio, or you can choose to have a shorter folio, which I did with this one. I cut it down, I believe, to four and a half. So that right here is where you kind of want to decide how tall you want your folio. So I'm actually going to make mine, because I've got a couple of them at six inches, I'm going to make mine five inches. 
So I'm just going to cut there. And now it's five inches tall. Now I'm going to start folding. So I want, let me think. I'm deciding what's going to be my uh, pocket and what's going to be my actual uh, front and back. So what I think I want to do is I think I want to put the plain part on the inside. So I'm going to fold this one this way. And since we're here, we might as well fold this one this way. Flip it over. And we're going to fold this one this way and this one this way. All right. So now what I want to do is I want to tell my paper now, this is how you're going to be folded. And somehow, I wonder how that happened. My papers are not lining up. That's interesting. Well, I'm just going to get them to line up. Nothing has to be perfect. So let me just... That is really interesting. Let me just... This is 12 inches. That's why, because I didn't fold on the 12. Okay. That's all right. We're still going to be okay. So what I'm just going to do is train my paper that I want it to be, it was about an eighth of an inch off. And I'm probably going to cover this folio with some something. So I'm not going to worry about that there's going to be an, a little extra fold there. I'm just going to burnish that down. Get it to where it says this is where I'm to be folded. Okay, so now what I want to do is I'm just going to clean up these cuts a little bit so that they don't overlap. Sometimes I'm not very uh, straight with my cutting. I think the others look okay. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I want to decide. Here's what I've got. Yeah, that's going to be on the outside. That's also on the inside too. Okay. So what I want to decide, I want to make sure that the middle of the paper is here, which will turn into the bottom of the folio. So I want my two tops to be, I want the top of my folio to be open. So the first thing I want to do, I don't know what's, did I goof that up? Nope, it's okay. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glue on this side and on this side. Okay. And that is going to create my first pocket. Now, I forgot, so let's just make a little notch. There we go. Now let's put our glue down. I forgot to put my notch down. There we go. Okay, so I'm just going to secure that glue down. And this paper is a little thicker than scrapbook paper. It's actually, what I was told is, it is a print. So if you're um, ordering wedding uh, invitation. This is the, I got it free off of Marketplace. Okay. So, so this is a little thicker than scrapbook paper. All right. So I'm going to put a little notch here. I'm going to also put a little notch here. Okay. So now 
I've got my first pocket glued down, but what I want to decide is when I go to close this portion right here, I want to decide whether or not I want a pocket in here or a pocket on top. So this for this first one, I want I want the pocket on top. So I'm going to glue this together. Okay. Just making sure that glue gets in there. So for this second part, I'm going to, let's just glue this pocket down while we're here. And I'm using art glitter glue. I buy it in the big bottles um, because I live in Minnesota. Um, art glitter glue can freeze coming to uh, my state in the winter. So I buy them in the big bottles during the warmer months so that it arrives to me um, all nice and and usable. So now this one, I am going to choose to have the pocket be in here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add glue up here, closing this upper spot here. I'm just going to push down on that and give it some time to grab. And then I'm going to secure my pocket. Now here's a different that you can also do. I've been crafting all day. Um, here's a different thing that you can do. When you're at this point, you can choose, instead of having a pocket here, you can choose, like I have, and put the pocket here. So I think, uh, did I close that up? No, okay. So I think, I'm trying to decide whether or not I wanna do that. You know what? I've got, yeah, mm, no. I'm gonna right now, I'm just gonna leave it like this and I'll show you the variation um, when I did use it that way. So I'm going to go ahead and close up that pocket here. And I have one more pocket to close and that's on this side. Now, if you decide that you want to glue your folio in where um, you don't see that pocket, then you don't have to worry about what's going on there. Um, but I, I'm gonna make this folio so that I just set it into the journal. I'm not gonna glue it in. So I'm gonna create that back pocket. And of course, I forgot to make my notch. Okay. So let's put that glue back there. And now we're just gonna secure the pocket down. Okay. I'm just securing that pocket down. So anyway, what I was saying is that I got this paper off of Facebook and I didn't pay for it. I didn't take it off their porch. I know some of you might think that. Um, the gal was giving away um, a huge box of this paper. And so I got this box of paper as well as some other different kinds of scrapbooking paper. And then I have some uh, kind of sparkly uh, printer paper. Um, so if I want to print something like Christmas 
pictures or Christmas ephemera. I've got this sparkly stuff that I can print. Okay, so I've got this going on now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you what the folio looks like. And so it also goes like this. Now, you can, if you want to, you can also fill it like this and maybe pop something here or a notebook or something there. That might be kind of fun. Otherwise, I'm gonna go like this and I'm going to just have that folio this way. And so what I have is a pocket here. I have a pocket up here pocket here, a pocket here, and then I have a pocket in here that I can put stuff, and a pocket here. So that folio is how, that is how I made this folio. So a couple of different variations to this particular folio is I did this one, and it was six, I left it the six inches, but I didn't put a pocket on the outer, so I can embellish this whole front. I actually, um, if you can see, I folded it in and glued it inside. There's a pocket here, and if I'm correct in this, nope, this is not the one that I did. Okay, so this is a pocket here. There's the two pockets here, and then there's a pocket up here and I did put a pocket on the end. Um, I don't know if I'll glue that down or not, but so there's that where I've left the cover all, um, I folded this pocket inside and glued it inside. Then there is this one because we're becoming, we're coming up to the Christmas holiday. I actually, did something a little different. I had the pocket out here, but I chose not to keep this open. So this can actually have a long piece of ephemera added in there. Like a, a, a let's see, where I have a row of tickets. And then I did put the pocket here, but I switched this and I put it here and then I left a pocket here. I think there might be, there is, there's a pocket on top. And then I opted not to have a pocket in the back. So this one will get glued in. And then the fourth variation, which I kind of showed you. And what I did is I cut off an inch and a half and I created a belly band so here's the folio it's I believe it's four and a half inches pocket there I can't remember whether yep there's pocket there here I forgot my notches but that's okay and then I did not leave I didn't I didn't leave a pocket here or here. So this one only has the tuck pockets. Here's one, but then I used that inch and a half and I created a belly band. And so what's gonna go in here are lightweight um, pieces of ephemera, ephemera, but I did create a belly band. So if you want to go ahead and watch my next video, I'm going to embellish these. If not, I hope you've enjoyed my video. Um, I have uh, my Etsy shop, which is The Naked Journal, and then I also have a Facebook group called uh, Junk Journal hyphen Learn the How To's. So, catch me on the next video where I am going to embellish these.